Alright, so today we're going to be doing another character design challenge. Um, we are going to be humanizing candy canes, gumdrops, so let's go. So, some of you might be wondering, well, um, why not gingerbread? So, actually, um, I might have already done gingerbread, um, off camera, so <laughs> sorry about that, but, um, we're going to start with candy canes first. So first, I'm going to be starting off by drawing candy cane, because candy cane is going to be the first thing, uh, object, or food, that we're going to draw. And I'm just taking it really simple. That, that does not look good. So, I'm just going to go with the basic red and white uh, for this video. Nothing uh, too crazy. Okay, we got ourselves a... Candy cane, now to humanize it. So, the first thing that I want to focus on is the hair. Um, so, uh, what if we, here, let's just draw upper body right there. Okay, cool. So let's just, why don't we, I'm thinking something like this with like a swirl. And since candy canes, well, I'm talking about like the big candy canes are really nice and well, big, uh, really long, so long hair, and then we could just sort of swirl it around. Since candy cane has that sort of swirl aspect to it. That kind of looks like a rainbow. Well, you, you get the point. You got the red streaks in her hair. But I don't know if it screams candy cane. So let's just give it a try. We could, here, wait. Her, so her hair is going to be white. It could be red with white stripes or white with red stripes. Uh, let's just try this though. And we got the hair. Uh, we'll come back to the hair. Now for the outfit. Um, I'm envisioning something. You know what, I think short hair will look better for what I'm thinking. So here, let me quickly. Since candy canes are really uh, popular, they're really popular um, candy, we might have to go with someone who's like, you know, popular. So let me just draw this. For the shirt, I'm thinking, and I don't know how this has something to do with a candy cane. Um, maybe we can give her long sleeves. Although I was thinking short sleeves. Well, let's see. So long sleeves oh what if it's a sweater <gasps> okay so long sleeve sweater not like a, a zipper sweater just sort of like something and then with cropped like whatever this section is called um that could be cute and then her shirt um let me see where's her shirt gonna be Maybe just like a white, oh, what a white tank top, yes. Hey, it may seem boring, but it works. Which can be, oh yeah, wait, let me, wait, 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 wait. Since, hmm, you know, I think I just, let's go with this idea. And then for her sure short shirt pants, this area um let me see we could go with plaid well eh, let me see let me think i'm just thinking like shorts just basic shorts but i feel like that's a bit too simple so let's see candy cane candy cane oh we could give her a skirt like one of those uh, long skirts Oh, like she's going to a party. Yes, a popular party. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, and for that, I think we could go with some cute short hair that could be like ruffled. That's, that's an ugly example, but y you know what I mean? Kind of like, here, I'm gonna need to draw the hair again. So let's just, maybe we could give her freckles. I don't know, it was just a random thought that occurred to me. 
Okay, so her hair, um, let me see. I want it to be nice and like, uh, how do, how, how to turn this into words? Let me see. Kind of like she doesn't care or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> so, um, like short hair. Let me need to look up a photo or reference. Right. Yeah, no, I need to look up a reference. Okay, there we go. Found a reference for some short hair, and I think that is what I want to go with. So, let me just draw that. Or, you know, we could just color it here. Um, line art, line art, line art. Let me do points. Oh, you know what? Maybe we don't need line art. Let's just jump right in. So, white tank top for sure. Let's see. Maybe the skirt can be red with white stripes just to really pull in the red. And I think we might have to go since, um, oh, well, let me see. I think lighter red would be good because it's not as like, not so much red. So let me just do that. It's actually more challenging than I thought. How do you do red with white background? Then this is going to be covered. It's more about the white space, and I, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's confusing. Let's just, um, here, wait, let me, so we need the, uh, like that, and then thin stripe. Thick stripe, and we color that in. And then a thin stripe, which will go there. Okay, the pattern is kind of like that. I just didn't get it there. So, the patterns like that on there, that really might work. And the tank top is going to be left white, though. Um, uh, we should probably add some like pink shading to it just to make it oh wow that's really pink just to make it kind of look pinkish kind of like that and then the sweater thing um well if it's going to have white there this is confusing well okay let's let's see we might make the tank you know what no we might put green stripes on the sweater or that's probably not a good idea okay this is going this uh this sweater thing is going to have a lot of white space we can use like the really dark red for this just to oh so it's not going to have like exact candy cane stripes just like regular stripes kind of like that So it's not like a direct candy cane copy, but it kind of has a candy cane feel maybe. And then for her skin tone, we might have to go with like a pink. Well, I'm gonna use what's left of, oh, we could just, no, no. White skin tone is gonna be weird. So what we could do is get, let me see. My R is 000, which has a pink, pink-ish tone, 
but then add a lot of my light pink just to really push the red. And then for her hair, um, I can't just do stripes again because that's going to be weird. We could do a solid red for her hair. Well, let's see. If we do solid red for her hair, is it going to be really dark or maybe the middle tone? Let me see. I mean, I think it looks fine. There's just a lot of stripes. <laughs> Maybe her skirt can have like something else, something extra to her skirt because it's just like a lot of stripes and stripes. So maybe that that's that that's a skirt. Um so we have our candy cane stripes now there. And then we could also have like um I don't know, like a see-through cloth, I guess. There with polka dots well i mean it's not gonna be really see-through well uh let's just try it so now that i actually um you know made labeled the stripes and stuff it's gonna be wait oh wait i wasn't supposed to go in there i'm just gonna add like a lot more red on the final drawing um okay then her skirt thing i might have to line out this just to make it a little bolder Okay, there we go. It's kind of ugly, but um, what if we do like some really dark spots? Or I feel like that would be a bit too, oh, you know what? I think it might just work. It might work, it, actually it might work. I am pleasantly surprised about that. And then her hair, oops. And maybe her hair, maybe her hair, you know what? I think her hair looks fine. Um, maybe it could like bleed from blonde to red. So let's get this is what her actual hair color is. And it's gonna bleed to red. Is that a bit much? No, because all the popular people always have like weird hair stuff. So it actually might work.